Hello, welcome back. Our previous three videos that we posted were part of our cabin renovation project that we did um, that we filmed previously and they're just now releasing or just now released um, as we took a break from social media and took a break from filming for a little bit. Um, so we encourage you to check out those videos and then also the final product that came from that. We'll link that in the description um, of this video. We'd encourage you to watch, um, to watch that. But since we filmed that, we um, had a beautiful baby boy and we're gonna continue making content about our lives now. So Let's jump into it. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another video uh, Today is kind of a little bit of a crazy day as it always is with us lately but um, We have a lot of fun things happening today. Finley has a his two-month doctor's appointment Which is already just crazy that it, he's two months old Seems like it's been just a really long one month. But uh, he's uh, down here, he's sitting and hanging. What are you doing down there, bud? He's just starting to get to the point where he is figuring out his hands and his feet. So he's got this little play thing where he kicks and it changes the song and these little toys he likes to kick. Jenna is over here washing some dishes. And then what else we have going on today is we are also, Jan and I are doing something exciting. We're going on our first solo dinner tonight, which is really exciting. We haven't been without Finley for more than five minutes, you know, just the two of us. And so we are super excited. My mom is actually going to watch him uh, for a couple hours. We're going to go have a little date night, which I think will be really exciting, really fun. Uh, there's a new restaurant that just opened. You can just hear he is... Just kicking away, changing the song. Uh, but there's a new um, Asian food restaurant here in town that just opened that we are really, really excited to try. So we're gonna go there tonight. Uh, but the first thing, so we gotta get a little bit of work done as our day is quickly fleeting. Um, so I am actually, I'm making syrups for our bar. We, I try to make everything in-house that I can. Um, so right now we're making just regular simple syrup and some lavender syrup. Um, so we're gonna get into that. Jana's washing some bottles and some pump parts and we're gonna get to it. just pulling up to Finley's two-month appointment I can't believe it I feel like literally it feels like last week we were at his two-day appointment don't you oh yeah don't you remember that like I said earlier it feels like it's just been like a long month yeah there's no way our little guy is he's in nine weeks that's so sad which is so sad I don't back there buddy we're pretty sure at this appointment they're gonna just be checking his weight to make sure he weighs enough and um check make sure like and his milestones i think so like making sure he's lifting up his head on his tummy and using his hands and tracking us and stuff like that and so. just make sure you know his body is doing what it's supposed to be doing yeah so all right we're gonna go in and then after this we're going home and gotta just get ready for date night All right, we are home now. I'm gonna take a little Finn Squin on a W-A-L-K. Arlo's here, so I'm not going to say in front of him because I'm not going to take him. Um, and Austin is souping up our ride for tonight, which we will show you later. Yeah. And then he's taking his mom to get a rental car. And then his mom is going to watch Finn Squin. Grumpy buns. Yeah. He, oh, he degraded his two month appointment, by the way. Everything was perfect, he looks great. Look at a healthy little buddy. So we're really happy with our pediatrician also. Um, so something nice. that I was, I don't know, kind of nervous about because even doctors for people, it's like you want to have a good doctor, you know? Sure. And so even more so for your little baby. But she has been excellent and we're receiving great care. And yeah, all around happy, happy, happy. All right, we are out here on our walk. We have a few different kinds of strollers and I wasn't sure like when I made my registry and stuff, if we could actually end up using all the different kinds of strollers, but now that we're in it, I'm glad that we have the few that we do have. So um, I'll maybe share those, maybe this time, maybe next time, if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I just didn't know if we'd actually need them. But we are in a great mood because fall is in the air. 
Um, just even like last week, I couldn't go on a walk in the middle of the day with him because it would just be too hot. And now it's like, I have a little jacket on, he's got a blanket on, and we are just having a grand old time. Hi, buddy. Finn's going is doing a great job. Just enjoying the view. I'm listening to the What We Said podcast, if you've ever heard of it. It's my favorite podcast right now, and they both, two of both the hosts, just had babies. So it's a little extra fun for me right now. I like going on walks when the two separate things are going on. It's really fun when he is having a wake window during our walk because he just looks at me and talks to me. I don't know if you can hear him um, this far away, but he's just chatting away. And it's so fun just seeing him look around and stuff. I mean, he mostly just sees me in the sky maybe, but I still love it. And then it's also nice when he naps because then he's just content. And I just get to look at my napping little baby. And that's really fun too, but I think it's more fun when he's having a happy wake window. Oh, buddy. I was telling you about how we have multiple strollers and I love this bassinet stroller. One thing I don't love about it is that when the sun is in his eyes, going, sun's coming from behind, I have to flip this. So I can't even see him. Which is just as annoying to me. <laughs> they need like a little thing to come through. It's not even supposed to do this. Like it works, but it doesn't like latch in like that. So it's not built to do that. It just does. But it's really annoying. We are back from our walk. I fed Mr. Finn, and now I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a postpartum workout. So I've got Finn here in a little swing. So um, I've been, I did this lady's, I think her YouTube channel is called Postpartum and Pregnancy TV, I believe. Um, and I did all her pregnancy Pilates um, workouts when I was pregnant. So I've been starting to do them now that I'm postpartum, and it's been really fun. It's been, it's funny, I've lost definitely so much strength, um, which is expected because I, you know, I've been literally sitting for like two months. Um, but I still would rather start from zero than work out with my pregnant belly. Can like continue doing that because that was a pain in the butt. So happy to be back, slowly working up to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. Make sure it feels tight inside your bony temperature. Exhale. For most advanced, you can also just finish up workout. Finley did great. He slept the whole time in his little swing. He loves that thing. It's really nice because it runs on batteries, which would seem like it's annoying, but then it's very easy to just move around. So actually that's very nice. If you don't, didn't know this about me, I'm a runner. So I ran all the way up until like 36 weeks pregnant. And a year ago, just last week, I ran my first 50 mile race. So I am excited to get back into running, but I'm gonna, taking it slow, even though I'm a little bit, getting a little antsy for it. Um, I've heard that the longer you wait, the better it is actually because this, the more healed you are and the more your body's ready. When you're pregnant, you're, you have a lot of like um, joint loosening hormones in you. Um, and so I've heard it's really easy to get injured if you go back too quickly because you still have those and your joints are still really loose. And so definitely want to avoid that. And I definitely need some strength still that I lost during those um, weeks of not doing much, but hanging out with my little baby. So anxious to get back into it, but not too anxious. Taking it slow. All right, I was able to successfully finish showering too. I put him in the swing and he did great. So that was good news. Um, I spent a little bit of time, he just ate and we changed his diaper. Now we're getting ready to send him to his grandma's house. We call this grandma Mimi. So he's going to Mimi's house. Um, so I'll show you what we're sending him with. We recently switched to the Komotomo bottles. He was drinking the Dr. Browns, but I think that my flow must be faster then the Dr. Brown's um, flow, so he was getting frustrated with it. So it's a little bit faster, so we switched to those. Um, and we're sending him with some fresh pumped milk and then also some frozen milk just in case. I'm assuming we'll only be gone for one feeding, but just in case he gets hungry again, we don't want her to be um, have nothing to give him. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think we might send her with a swing too, just in case, because she, she has some baby stuff. She's very um, used to babies. She like nannies and stuff. So she's great with babies, which is, it makes we're me feel good. Actually set closing. Sorry to interrupt. Good idea. Just in case. Yeah, you never know. You never know. We are sending guys. him to Mimi's house with pajamas on because it's Mimi's house and you wear your jammies to your grandma's house. So, so I think Austin is going to take him there in just a few minutes while I get dressed and ready um, I'll take them along. because we cannot take him in the car that we're going to drive okay awesome just left with him i did cry a little bit sad not that we i've actually left him for almost this, this long i think with austin 
um, just because I'm out know, doing stuff, getting my nails done or whatever. I think it's more just like the milestone of it, of like, you know, he's big enough to be left alone. Well, not alone, to be left with somebody else, which is sad because I think for so long I was like, oh, he's too little, but now he's, he's getting big, so it'll be good. I'm gonna get ready and try not to cry anymore. All right, Finns and I are loaded up. How you doing back there, buddy? I guess you guys can't really see him. All right, we are headed over to my parents' house. They live 10-ish, wow, that is bright. They live 10-ish uh, minutes from our house, so it won't be a bad, won't a bad beat, but but it won't be a bad drive. Think Finn's is ready. I'm nervous. I'm gonna be so sad to leave the little guy, but it'll be all right in the end. You good back there, pal? You just staring at your swing? No! He does this every time, he always, like we come to a stoplight and he'll like start crying or fussing, not crying, just fusses. But he loves a car, but really only when it's moving, which is okay. I'm rolling forward just slightly at this stoplight. You good, dude? All right, let's green, let's go! Also, no one told me my hair is just sticking up right here. Little buddy is dropped off with Mimi. I didn't film any of it really, just cause I was just loving on the sweet little guy. But, um, I gotta make sure no one's gonna crash into me. But, um, we are now gonna head back home. Uh, hopefully Jana is ready to go. I'm gonna fix my hair a little bit. And then we're gonna jump in the car and we are gonna go. I don't have my seatbelt on. Sorry, Jaden. All right, we are headed out for date night. We're stoked. We're stoked. Um, we are currently in a car that we will show you in a little bit. It's a Corvette that Austin bought. I guess we bought it, but Austin picked it up. Um, and we haven't been able to drive in it because it's only a two-seater and we have, we have little fins. So we can never drive it. So we're very excited to take it for date night. Yeah, Jenna's only ridden in it once. Yeah, we, one time my mom was over at our house and so we let we went around her, the block. Yeah, stay with Finn and we went around the block really quick. Um, but this is not the same. We're actually getting to drive in it. So feeling excited about that. We're stoked. It's very fun. What kind of car is it? Uh, it's a 2000 Corvette. Um, a C5 is what it's called. It's got 80,000 miles on it, which in my opinion is very low, but I don't know if it is or not. Um, but it's an automatic and we bought it for way cheaper than we, it was too good of a deal. I couldn't pass it up, so. But uh, Even though it's very impractical. But we It's will, incredibly impractical. We'll probably sell it. Do you hear that? It's loud. I think they can hear it? Definitely. So our plan right now, we're gonna go get a drink and then go to the sushi place. Um, and I think that's still our plan. I'm just kind of hungry. And so I think we're gonna get an appetizer at the drink place that we're going to. At the distillery. At the distillery. And then go get some sushi. But yeah. we'll see. This is the beauty this and the beast. Car. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a car. It's a fun little car. I like it a lot. Probably too much. Cheers. Oh, we're both videoing. <laughs> I think it's <a> Snapchat. <laughs> Well, we just got back from our Hi. night out. We are now chilling on the couch, spending time with our little baby. We missed him so we much. We missed our little guy. Yeah. We were just talking about how, um, how, you know, maybe our date nights are gonna be less, or not maybe, for sure, our date nights will be less oh. frequent but that they'll be more intentional because before it'd be like, oh, let's just go out to dinner, um, you know, whatever. But tonight it was like, oh, let's have a very intentional date night. Let's get dressed up. Let's like have fun. Um, and so I think that will be kind of a nice little change up. I agree. I just like this. Yeah, we picked things up. He did so good at my mom's house. So we thank you for watching him, mom. But he had a lot of fun. He did really good. He never got fussy or anything. Did have to change his clothes, which is normal. This guy goes through so many clothes. But we're just really thankful. My parents live close and Janet's parents are close and we have just 
family that help us and it's so much easier to leave him with like our parents than it is just like friends or a friends kids babe that they're babysitting him so we're very very thankful it made date night so much less stressful and we had no worries